Hello, my fellow Helldivers. Today is not a great day. Many of you are already aware that on Friday, Sony and Arrowhead Studios made an announcement regarding Helldivers 2 that those players on Steam must be required to have a PlayStation Network account to continue playing the game or they will be banned. Allow me to read the entire update. <clears throat> Attention Helldivers, due to technical issues, at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. So, most of that is borderline not true. Uh, I say borderline because per perhaps it will help them with uh, whitelisting, or pardon me, blacklisting, and similar functions. However, that is not the primary reason for this change that much is kind of obvious. While the game is far from the first to require a link to a third party site, adding this requirement more than three months into the game when it's far too late to acquire refunds has made, inc has made many incredibly upset. However, Steam has already begun issuing refunds for the game, so I truly suggest that if you play the game on Steam and don't want to provide your information to a malicious company, get your refund now before it's too late. The community has been in a bit of an uproar over this, obviously, as they deserve to be, and some of Arrowhead's uh, staff have not entirely handled the situation very well. Well-known community manager on Discord, Spitz, initially not only doubled down on this decision, but has been just as toxic, if not more so, as the incident with the railgun nerf a month ago. While he has since recanted a lot of his statements, stated that he was unaware of some of the issues, it's been a very bad look. But uh, the same is also true on Twitter, with uh, community manager Misty OW tried to reinforce the idea that this wasn't something Sony forced on them, saying that the account linking was only disabled because the login process couldn't handle the player volume, and that they wanted people to be able to play. This is despite the fact that people couldn't play anyway, and it's clearly a tactic to boost numbers for Sony to give to shareholders. Misty OW has since deleted those posts and locked her account, uh, mostly due to a lot of transphobia being thrown her way, which I'll discuss in just a moment. Uh, but I would like to thank the YouTuber Hero High or Hero Hey, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that name, uh, for providing screenshots of these tweets. Community manager Twinbeard has stated that this indeed was Sony's decision, not Arrowhead's, and that Arrowhead is attempting to get more information about the situation from Sony, but as we may see, it might be too little too late. Uh, most importantly, the CEO Pilstead provided a support link for reference regarding the issue, but in that very link, it states that signing into the PSN is optional, a contradiction to the announcement that it is in fact mandatory. A lot of statements that were able to be found online stating that it was optional have been edited and changed to say that it is not optional, it is now mandatory, which it just feels like company level gaslighting. They're trying to tell us that this was always the case and it just frankly wasn't. Pilstead continued by restating what devs and CMs had said, that it had to be disabled at launch but is being re-enabled. When confronted that many players cannot legally make a P uh, PlayStation Network account, Pilstead simply apologized for the lack of a concrete answer to whether an account would be mandatory for all players. 
Despite the fact that this requirement is illegal in places like Brazil and much of the EU, it seems as though they're not backing down on this. To be specific, I went ahead and pulled up the uh, Brazil consumer, pr consumer Protection documents, specifically Article 39 uh, under Section 4 of Abusive Practices. Article 39 states that forbidden abusive practices by the products of or a servicer provider includes text from law number 8884 of June 11th, 1994. Clause 1 specifies conditioning product or service delivery to the delivery of another product or service as well as specific quantitative limits without just cause. That's in, that is from Brazil's consumer practices laws. Uh, but there are similar laws in the EU that I just simply don't have time to go over. Since Friday, recent reviews on Steam's have plummeted into overwhelming negative, bringing the overall reviews of the game to mixed as of Sunday. It's likely that a large portion of the PC player base, which on its own makes up almost half of the total player base, will leave the game behind now. More importantly, the game has been officially delisted in over 177 countries across the world, and players that already owned the game in those countries may or may not still be able to play. It's a little unclear. The Sony customer service has stated that they won't be required to make accounts, but players from the listed countries don't seem to be able to play the game already. There's been multiple reports that they can't access it. Being in a country not listed as unavailable may not be enough, however, as Twitter user Forgotten has stated that residents of Ukraine won't be able to access the game at all unless they own a PS5 as the console is required to make an account. I have screenshots on screen now to show what I mean. As I said, Steam has already begun to issue refunds for the game, but the most frustrating thing is that this feels like a war being fought on three fronts, which is... Str uh, strangely fitting for Helldivers. You have Sony, the progenitors of the issue, but then you also have people both in and out of the community pretending that this isn't a problem, including for a time members of Arrowhead's staff. Swathes of people are treating those that actually care as though we're screaming children not to be taken seriously and refuse to acknowledge the people that are having their property taken away with little warning and no action to take. But then you also have members of the community that have taken this as an opportunity to be incredibly problematic, including transphobia against members of Arrowhead staff, and that is completely unacceptable. It needs to be made unequivocally clear that this is not Arrowhead's fault. The blame lies solely on Sony's shoulders. Some of the Arrowhead devs have agreed with the change, but it was not a choice that they made. Even if it was Arrowhead's fault, that does not and will never justify treating anyone the way that some of the members of the community have acted. For those that are getting refunds, I wish you well. Hopefully one day the issue can be resolved and players can begin to return, though I recognize that trust has been broken irreparably for some. I, however, will continue to cover the game, at least for the time being, though I can't make any promises for how long that will last. This is a difficult time right now. We need to stay together as a community regardless of if we're playing the game or not because the more of us that are present and stating how this is a problem the more likely they are to listen there are legal cases in the works right now to potentially deal with this problem Helldivers 2 is a phenomenal game but if things like this are going to happen it may not be long for this world so until we know more remember to be gay do crimes, and we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.